With the absence of a robust regional carrier, the future of interregional travel is under the microscope. It was an issue two Caribbean officials were asked about at the recently held IMF annual meetings in Washington, D.C. Finance Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Camille Gonzalez, told reporters that a study is currently being commissioned to determine the best way forward for regional travel and that he hopes this is completed soon. So what we have done at the level of the Caribbean Development Bank is get a general agreement from all the governments of the region that whatever replaces Liat, whatever comes thereafter, is going to have to have buy-in and support from all the countries that this airline serves. That's a very important advancement because in the past, many countries did not chip in um, when things were, were difficult. So that's the first thing. The CDB is currently finalizing a study that tells us the following things. In this post-Liat environment, or um, what is the optimal aircraft we should use? What is the optimal number of aircraft we need? What is the optimal location of a hub for the aircraft? What are the likely profitable routes? And what are the routes that are unprofitable but nonetheless necessary? To what extent can the profitable routes subsidize the unprofitable routes? And what is the formula by which all governments will have to chip in uh, to the upkeep of this regional airline? They have not yet finalized uh, that report, and we're awaiting that report. The heads of government will deliberate on it uh, very soon. Mr. Gonzalez lamented that the COVID-19 pandemic was the death knell for regional carrier Liat. So here's where we are. Just like COVID killed um, a lot of people with pre- pre-existing conditions, uh, COVID killed Liat, which had its own pre-existing conditions. And I think that uh, we, we collectively, the governments of the region, probably didn't effectively anticipate the day after COVID when uh, tourism would return and um, Liat wouldn't be there to carry people around. The fact of the matter is is that the previous structure where the cost of supporting Liat was borne uh, almost exclusively by Barbados, Antigua and Barbuda and St. Vincent and the Grenadines could not continue. Um, Other countries could not be free riders in the process. Um, Every country has to chip in if we're going to have an effective regional travel solution. Don't forget that a lot of people out there said, get rid of Liat. Uh, The private sector will come in and the private sector will solve the problem. And and as long as we get this government funded, inefficient entity out of the way, the private sector will, will magically replace it. Well, we've seen what happened. Um, That was always a fallacy, and I think that a lot of people now realize that it was a fallacy. Meanwhile, Governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, Timothy Antoine, stressed the importance of robust interregional travel to economic development of the Caribbean. Interregional travel is a regional public good. It's a bridge. So by its very definition, we have to approach it as a region. We have to work together. I think what the countries are expressing is a, a certain level of anxiety and impatience with the process to the process to get to a resolution. But by definition, because you have to look at a number of things. It's the leasing of the planes is one, tax fees and charges is another, the econnect the interline agreements among airlines is another. Um, I mean there are a range of issues to be looked at. When you, when you think about the, the aircraft that we use, based on the routes or routes that are, that are being used or, or selected, there are a range of issues. And that is why the work is now going on, the technical work, to try to put together some kind of framework to guide these decisions. I think the good news is that most of our governments recognize that some government contribution is required, but it has to be done in a particular way. Lian has significantly cut routes since the COVID-19 pandemic, triggering massive layoffs at the airline and difficulties in commuting across the Caribbean. No suitable alternative has yet been found. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.